Welcome to Explorer Notes Historic Exploration of Bridgetown, Barbados, a fascinating city imbued with Caribbean charm and vibrant heritage. Dominating the island's southwestern coast, Bridgetown, the capital of Barbados, offers a captivating journey into the region's past. Its distinct fusion of cultural influences and historic landmarks paint a rich narrative of resilience, growth, and diversity. So, join us as we delve into the city's storied past, charting its journey from an indigenous settlement to its transformation into a bustling port city. Early Indigenous Influence, Pre-1628 Before the establishment of Bridgetown, the island of Barbados was inhabited by the Arawak tribes who called it Ikiruga name. The indigenous Arawak or Tainos people, known for their peaceable nature, primarily sustained their communities through a combination of agriculture and fishing. Notably, it's believed that they constructed a primitive bridge over the Korean Age area swamp at the heart of what would later become Bridgetown. In the early 15th century, the Arawaks were likely driven out by the Kalinagos, also known as the Caribs. Although the island was uninhabited by the time the British arrived, the remnant bridge stood as a testament to its indigenous prehistory. The British settlers, upon finding the structure, initially called the area Indian Bridge, referencing its builders. British Bridgetown, 1628-1816 Bridgetown's story began in 1628 when Sir William Corton, a London merchant, financed the establishment of Barbados as a proprietary colony, paving the way for the city's founding. The arrival and establishment of the first British colonists under the leadership of Henry Powell marked the onset of Bridgetown's transformation into a significant port in the British West Indies. Under James Hay, 1st Earl of Carlisle, who seized Corton's title in the Great Barbados Robbery, Bridgetown was expanded, solidifying its importance as a commercial hub. The burgeoning city, initially populated by indentured laborers and later by rebellious and criminal transplants, thrived despite an incredibly high death rate and the collapse of its primary economy, tobacco farming, in the 1630s. As Bridgetown expanded, its streets evolved, reflecting the design of English medieval market towns, complete with narrow winding lanes, and the imposing grandeur of colonial buildings. This signified Bridgetown's thriving economy, buoyed by the bustling trade of commodities, notably sugar, rum, and, sadly, enslaved individuals. However, Bridgetown's prosperity bore a disturbing parallel with the onset of the transatlantic slave trade. As the city thrived, its harbor became a disquieting entry point for approximately 387,000 enslaved Africans between 1627 and 1807. Their forced labor in the sugar plantations would leave an enduring mark on the city, casting a melancholic shadow. Emancipation, 1816-1838 Bridgetown found itself at the heart of the emancipation movement. Tensions had been growing among the enslaved population, leading to the 1816 Busas Rebellion, one of the largest slave uprisings in the Caribbean. The revolt was brutally suppressed, but it sparked an irrevocable change, culminating in the British Parliament's 1833 Slavery Abolition Act. The aftermath of emancipation was a time of social and economic upheaval. The former enslaved population, now legally free, faced significant challenges in gaining access to education, property, and political representation. The formerly enslaved people built their own communities, crafting a vibrant cultural identity that melded African traditions with their Caribbean surroundings. Bridgetown began to evolve from a symbol of colonial repression into a beacon of resilience and cultural diversity. Bridgetown in Transition, 1838-1966 Post-emancipation, Bridgetown entered a transformative phase of growth and change, marked by the emergence of a middle class and a distinct Bajan identity. As the economy diversified beyond sugar, opportunities increased, yet the fight for political representation had just begun. It was an era of hopeful progress, shadowed by struggle. The modernist government buildings in Independence Square, constructed from local coral limestone, stood as symbols of autonomy. Vibrant chattel houses, once homes to plantation workers, added a uniquely Beijing character to the city's neighborhoods. Bridgetown's evolution mirrored wider shifts across the Caribbean, where regions were grappling with colonial history while forging new futures. While the period had its struggles, it was a significant turning point in Bridgetown's journey towards self-governance. Post-colonial Bridgetown, since 1966. In 1966, Barbados declared independence, marking a new chapter for Bridgetown. As the capital, it began forging global alliances and exerting influence across the Caribbean. Bridgetown skillfully integrated its historical roots with contemporary progress, evident in the thriving Broad Street Commercial Center and the preserved Garrison District. 
Moreover, it established itself as a cultural focal point, annually hosting the Cropover Festival, which serves as a vivid testament to Barbadian heritage and the culmination of the sugar cane season. Bridgetown Today Today, Bridgetown exemplifies Barbados' resilience and historical richness. On its 55th independence anniversary in November 2021, Barbados transitioned into a republic. Sandra Mason, the incumbent governor-general, became the nation's first president, endorsed by both the prime minister and opposition leader. The city harmoniously merges antiquity and modernity, with colonial edifices standing alongside contemporary buildings. Historic Bridgetown and its garrison have merited UNESCO World Heritage recognition. As Bridgetown continually evolves, it remains a dynamic testament to Barbados' journey, displaying the island's resilient spirit and preserving its deep-rooted cultural heritage.